Hello. A few days ago, I made a post on LinkedIn about disturbance and the Force, if you know what I'm saying. I felt a great disturbance in the Force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. So the whole thing was that Combo Box was not working as I was expecting. Then I opened the support ticket with Microsoft, they got into it, but before they even come back to me, I discovered that this is a feature that Microsoft has released without telling anyone. And it is so fresh and so undocumented that even Microsoft support was not aware of it. Now, let me show you its features. To show you this new Compobox feature, I have created an Excel sheet that shows you the provinces and cities. So basically we have every province in Canada and a few cities related to that, that they are inside that province. And I want to bring both of them in a combo box so the user can pick a city in a certain province. And I've already uploaded this file already to OneDrive. Inside OneDrive, there's a folder called Power Apps Demo and the file is inside it. Now let's go back to Power Apps and create it. Inside Power Apps, I created an app. It's a Canvas app. It doesn't really matter what it is. I just add a combo box to the screen, and I want to read the content to that combo box from my Excel sheet. So to do that again, I go back to the connectors. I click on Add Data, and I need to look for Excel Online, and I say Connect. OneDrive for Business is on the top of my list. Inside OneDrive, I pick up Power Apps Demo, and here is the Excel file that I have. Inside it, there is a table called Province City, which is exactly the same folder. Let me just show you. Here, if I click on it and I click on Table Design, you will see that the table name is Province City List. So I pick that up and I click on Connect. It wants to insert an ID into that Excel table just to avoid any issues. I go back inside that Excel sheet and I close it. And then I click on Connect. We are good. The connector is added. Now if I select this combo box and I click on the data source, I can pick province city list, which if I run it, it will show me all the cities, but no provinces, which is fine. Now I want to go to the magic of Power Apps and I want to click on the fields. It shows me city. No, I don't want to see city only because there are lots of cities that they are repeated in different provinces. I want to be specific and show city and province. So when the user selects the city, he or she can see the province that that city belongs to. So I click on double, so this way, I can show city as primary text, but on a second line, I can show you the province. And this is where the magic happens. Let me just save this and run it. Look at that. If you have used a double layout before, you have seen first and a second line. So basically everything was happening in two different lines, but now it has changed since last week. You can see both of them concatenated. Of course, you can still have the previous layout just by switching the layout to person. And of course, when you switch it to person, let me just show you here. When you switch it to person, because we don't have any image in this output or in this Excel, we don't pick it up and it behaves just like your old school double layout. So I can pick the cities, and I can immediately see which province it belongs to. Fine. But hold on a second. What, what is it good for? Now let me show you. I go back inside OneDrive, and I open this file again, and you can see the Power Apps field is added here, which is fine. I just right-click on it, and I insert another column here, and I call it City Province. And now for this column, I want to make it a calculated column. So inside it, I put equals and I say concat, which concatenates a string inside Excel. And I would say, start it with open bracket. 
maybe a space in between, comma, and I can add province after that. Again, I will add closing bracket, and I close the bracket for the entire concatenation, and I press enter. Look at that. Now we have the name of the province and the city province or whatever we want to call this column inside bracket. Now I close it, and inside Power Apps, one thing you need to do, you need to click on Refresh, so you will get the new field here. Now, if I select this guy, I can click on Edit, and instead of Province, I can have my City Province here. Now, if I run it, oh, it is in, still in Person Layout, no worries. I select this guy, Edit, and I switch it to Double. And I run it. And now when I click on it, you will see the name of the city, and in front of it, you will see the province in one line. And this is just amazing. And now that's up to you. You can use this feature, or you can go to all the style, which is still available as person, which shows you to the second field, and you can pick the province separately, and there we go. And this one is what you are used to. Well, I guess you got the point. Uh, this is a bug. It seems like someone on Microsoft's side messed up with this control. At least I guess so, so far, based on what I heard from the Microsoft technical support. They are working on it to fix it. The point is, until it is fixed, your only option is going to be the person view. One more thing to add. If you have already used the double layout in your combo boxes, and uh, that app still keeps on working without any problem. But a, as soon as you open that app and just save it, it's going to mess it up. So if you really need to edit that app, you need to, again, go for every single combo box that you have that you're using double layout and switch it to person. If it is single, it's all good, nothing to worry about. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.